Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. Today I received an Amazon package in the mail. So, um, I know what's in here and by the title, you know what's in here. <laughs> so, I thought I would unbox this on camera and we will go through what all is included in this. I was so kindly contacted by the company and it is called MACTING, which it stands for Mary Acting. So it's a little bit different of a name. And she asked if I wanted to review some of their products. And I said, yes, of course I would. So this is what uh, they decided to send me for review. So let's dig in to this. And we shall see what's all in there. Okay another box <laughs> all right i'm gonna save that box for when i have to send things out so everything comes in this really nice heavy duty box with a seal this is on amazon i will be linking it down below it is prime and i did get it in two days so that was nice all right so we have in here i'm just going to take it all out and we'll go through each thing this is what i was really excited about <laughs> Okay, we have some instructions. Oh, yeah, everything is packaged very nice. Uh, first, we have an A4 light pad that is packaged in some extra cushioning. Ooh, sticky. There we go. So, for those of you looking for a uh, light pad to do your diamond painting with you get one of these and it does have a usb port and you get the wire to connect it okay so we are going to be testing these things out i am going to be getting out my um colorful dandelions uh diamond painting that I started on the channel a long time ago and I have not done a diamond painting and chat in a long time so we are going to do a little testing with that one now on the instructions it just gives you the different dimensions and wattage of the different types of light pads that they have different a4 light pads goes through the different light pads and just some features precautions flicker free um, super bright uh, LED so it um, uses low um, electricity lifespan up to 50,000 hours ultra thin and light weight um, I am not sure which model this is i guess i didn't look at that i don't know if it states it on the back no um because the um two models cannot be the brightness cannot be adjusted the one model the a4-f-t you can adjust the brightness on it so i'm almost thinking i probably got one of these two but we shall find out all right so don't really uh, need the instructions too much do we okay then you get these two clips which is always kind of nice and i like these because they're wider that you can clip your diamond painting to the light pad and i don't have any of these so this is going to be nice to have 
and the fact that you get two of them is really nice now if you have a smaller diamond painting you may only need one if you have a larger diamond painting though however two of them might come in handy so we are going to test these out they're rather strong the springs are pretty strong so i think they should hold the diamond painting quite well then you also get a foldable stand that is a tilt stand so you kind of really get it all in this package and again we shall be testing this out so let us see now, no instructions on how to put this together oh <laughs> I'm assuming it's pretty self-explanatory, but we all know how I am. Okay, let's see. Okay, there are holes in here, but I'm assuming it must go down this way. Not. All right. See, told you I need uh, instructions. I need instructions for everything yeah because i would assume they adjust in all right we're gonna figure this out <laughs> i am kind of at a loss hmm yes i need instructions for this oh my gosh I have the box down on the floor <laughs> that this all came in and Misty had to curl up inside of it right away. I wonder if I can uh, tilt the camera over so you can see her. There she is. Misty, what are you doing? That is my blue kitty. I don't know if I can uh, zoom you in. You can see her blue. Let me move you over wrong way Jose yeah you can see a little bit of the blue <laughs> yes so it is getting lighter but if I you know go like this you can see more of the blue <laughs> Isn't that a pretty color Misty's like hey leave me alone okay let's move you back <laughs> But yes, that is my box kitty. You have any kind of box around, she'll find it. Let's zoom you back out. All right, so. Hmm. <laughs> because of these rubber things, you would think this is what goes down, right? And then it would adjust. I mean, I'm trying to use common sense here. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I'm going to pause the video and see if I can get this figured out. Many of you probably are like, okay, girl, I know how that goes and you're not figuring it out. Alrighty, I shall be right back. Hehe, <laughs> I got it figured out. These were folded in to make it flat, you know, for shipping. You just had to fold them out <laughs> and then you could get these this is what had to be folded and then you could stick this bottom part in the holes like I figured it had to go <laughs> so yes you need directions for that let's get it so it's even and then you know this is how you would adjust you know how high you want it so I don't know if I'm a real fan of of this stand it is I don't know a little flimsy feeling to me um, but I do like the fact it has this nice I don't know if you can see that nice area nice thick area to put your light pad or you know whatever else if the diamond painting comes down into there there's plenty of room to uh, you know put things in there then the bottom has grippers so that it um, you know should not 
slip away on you. Now that looks like that is adjustable also because this one is sticking out. There we go. Okay. Alrighty. So we shall put the iPad in iPad. Oh my heavens, Lisa. Uh, that was funny. Okay. Now I don't like doing diamond painting up at this angle. I prefer it much flatter. So we are going to adjust this down. We'll see how flat it goes. And it looks like that is the lowest setting that we can go. And that's not too bad. Okay. I actually, I guess myself, I don't know about you, I actually kind of like it a little bit lower than that. Um, but I guess, you know, especially for smaller ones that I would do here for recording purposes, this is going to be okay. But again, one thing about recording purposes, <laughs> the flatter it is, the easier it is to record. Um, so I think when I record doing the diamond painting on here, I'm going to move the camera back a little bit and, and aim it more at an angle so that you can kind of see what I'm doing and how this works. Alrighty, so I am going to pause. I am going to get out that diamond painting, uh, get this light pad plugged in, and see how everything works together. Um, oh, before I do that, though, let us t take a look at this carrying bag. I actually seen this carrying bag on Amazon, and the only place I could find this was in this set. So I had posted a question down, you know how you can post a question down below near the comments, if you could buy just the bag, because... I really like this carrying bag and you'll see why and I had gotten an answer that yes you can and so I said well do you have a link she had given me a link but when and this was not the company this was just another reviewer that answered my question and the link she gave me just linked me back to this set so I don't know if it's truly available on its own or not but this is like a really heavy duty felt material. It has a leather label up here and Velcro. So you can open it up and then it is zippered. It feels very nice and heavy duty, heavy duty nylon zipper. And it opens up completely. So you can put your light pad right in here again it's very heavy duty felt so it will not scratch your light pad um let's see exactly how it fits in here and it fits perfectly okay and let us zip this back up now this is what i thought was so neat okay nice and secure look at all the pockets these are you know well there's two but you can put your diamond painting pens in here you could put trays maybe you know a few containers of drills in here and take it on the go but what's really cool is these pockets are velcroed on and they come off <laughs> Isn't that cool? I think it's cool. So both pockets come off. You know, you can fill them up if you only need the pockets, you know, with your supplies in. Maybe to carry from one room to another. Um, maybe you do need the whole thing with the light pad. Um, you know, I know many people keep their light pads, you know, right on their desk. But maybe your supplies are in a different room like mine are. <laughs> You can just take these off, fill it with your supplies, bring it back um, if you don't want to take the whole case. So I thought that was pretty cool. 
So yeah, I, I do like this case. And again, fits the A4 just perfectly. So let's take the light pad, not an iPad, <laughs> back out. I'm going to take the case off of here. And yes, I will pause, go get the uh, diamond painting that I was working on. I have my drills out here and I will be right back. Okay, um, I have the diamond painting set up on here. Um, love these clips. They do hold it really tightly to the light pad. Yeah, I am not a fan of the stand though. It's a little small um, and it is not real stable. Um, it does hold the light pad nicely though, um, but I feel like it's going to move too easily. Um, so I, I think I would use my other stand that I have, but it will do for now. Um, another thing, um, because these do come out, let me move up, these do come out quite far. Um, I'm not sure if that's gonna, you know, do something on the canvas itself as you're working on this. So we shall see. Now, the light pad that they sent me is the dimmable one. So let's see. Now that's on low and off. So if you hold it on, just like the other light pads. Um, okay, I had this working. Here we go. Um, it does get quite bright. Okay, so let's go ahead and diamond paint for a little while. And yes, I had ripped this. We were over on this side when I stopped last. And I have a quite a few G's up in here. Got my tools over here. These are the diamond painting pens that I made from the Stabilo Worker um, pens off of Amazon. Um, I will link these down below. I do have a video out there on how I converted these pens into diamond painting pens. And I have tried many, many different diamond painting pens. I still go back to these. I made about 10 of them and I like to have so many because I fill them all with wax. Then when the wax is gone from the one, um, I only have to pick up another pen and I can just keep going. <laughs> when they're all used up, I just fill them all up at the same time. So uh, yeah, you don't have to stop and keep filling up with wax. So hopefully I'll remember to link that all down below. <laughs> Uh, and uh, they're real easy to convert. This one, it looks like the wax is done, so we are going to use this one. So, all right, G is 37.70. I, for this small one here at my desk, I am using this Craft Mates uh, container. It snaps shut like a booklet kind of and then opens up and you have all of these if you have not seen these craft mates there's quite a few containers they come out in a row let me put the book itself down so i can demonstrate this these do not open so it's nice and safe you have to push this down in order to open one and once you let go of that the other ones will not open so only that one will stay open then to close it you can't close it without pushing this in so they're all really nice and secure so I really really like this now you'll see in each little section I have a little piece of a dryer sheet um, little squares cut out for each one of the containers I have found that rounds have quite a bit of static. I don't have that problem with any of my square drills. Rounds, I do. 
<laughs> so I wiped out each separate container with a uh, dryer sheet and then I snipped off a little piece, a little square, and put one in each of the containers. That really helps with the static. You'll see I got a few up here, but when I filled these from all the packets, the whole top was just covered <laughs> with the drills. And it doesn't help the fact that these are plastic. So again, you have more static electricity inside of there. The dryer sheets help with that. So if you haven't heard of that tip yet. Um, so again, uh, G is 3770 and I'm going to get out that particular row and 3770 is this light light peach so let's get some of those out put my little dryer sheet back in there and let's see how this is going to work now I have the camera kind of up above my head so I'm not going to be able to go in real close with my head so hopefully I'll get them all <laughs> where they belong oh gosh I haven't worked with round drills in so long I find the rounds are just so much easier and more fun than the squares but the vast majority of my diamond paintings are square because I like the finished look of them better. With that being said though, I do also find that there are more facets on the round drills. So I think the rounds are actually more sparkly than the square drills, which is kind of odd. You would almost think a square drill would have more facets than the little rounds, but the opposite is actually true. So if you like the real sparkly look, you would probably like the rounds better. And the light pad is working great. The clips are working great. But again, I, I guess I just am not a fan of the stand. It's just, and maybe, I mean, it could well be the fact that when I tried to put it together before I realized what the heck I was doing. I think I may have bent one of the legs a little bit. Once I did get it together the proper way, I did try to bend it back the other way. So some of this wobbliness I'm sure is user error. Um, but it is still kind of small even for an A4 light pad and definitely if you have an A3 um, it, it definitely would be too small of a stand. Now if you are working in your lap and you just have a small lap desk which I I'm going to be working on some of my smaller ones in the living room in my chair. Um, I do have a smaller lap desk for in the chair. These uh, smaller stands may actually come in handy. So I am going to be testing it out in that scenario too. And you can't really see what I'm doing, can you? Let me zoom you in a little bit. And I don't know if my hand is going to be in the view. Let me reconnect. I'm assuming I'm still recording though. Yes, I am. I keep hitting my Siri button when I try to adjust 
and then it disconnects me. <laughs> yeah, let's go over uh, this away. And let's continue. I don't know how long I'm going to be doing a diamond painting and chat. Um, because I more or less wanted this to just kind of be a short demo. of the products actually you know you know when I said about them being a little bit big down below where the uh, light pad rests in it's actually where I am resting my hand so it actually comes in kind of handy because I always hold my tray I don't put my tray down some people I know do that especially if you're working on a flat surface if you're working flat on the table many people will just have their tray next to them on the table and work that way or they will have it sitting right next so it's really nice and close and then you can really work a lot faster the closer your tray is of course the faster you can work so i do kind of always hold my tray up as close to where I'm working as possible and then you can go back and forth a little bit faster now because I do shake a little bit um, takes me a little bit longer to get them into the proper position and then sometimes I may be off. I'm not going to spend the time on camera to straighten these out, but I do typically straighten them out as I go if they are out of place. Although, you know, in the grand scheme of things, when you look at this diamond painting from afar, you're never going to see that. Oh, and these rounds are so much fun. <laughs> yeah, it would be much, much harder to do a square drill on camera. Because they do take longer to do. I know some people absolutely hate squares. And there are other people that absolutely love them and don't like the rounds and that's how I always was until I started trying some rounds some smaller rounds for the channel and I'm like hey this is kind of fun <laughs> I have so many very very large square diamond paintings to do many 60 by 80s probably have about a dozen 60 by 80s to do i mean i have enough diamond paintings to probably last me five years so if i order any it's small ones to okay where's my tweezers where did i put them I know I brought them over. Heh. I covered them up. That's where they went. Of course. Oh, sure. Now I lost track of where I was. Here we are. Because I don't have fingernails, so it's kind of hard to move these into place. So I'm going to use the tip, which is what I usually do on my squares just kind of use the tip to move them into place boy I'm having problems today man oh man that one just doesn't want to get in there because the other one is out of place there we go shapeless Johnson so this may not with the with the light pad on in the back not sure if this is yeah it is kind of fuzzy on screen isn't it let me uh let me bring up the focus and see 
I can get this a little bit clearer for you guys. All right, let's go the other way. Boy, I had to go all the way down. There, that's a little bit better, huh? Okay. Whenever you have a light pad on in the background, it seems to kind of play with the focus a little bit. I noticed that the last time I did a diamond painting and chat. I am going to be using those clips in the future though. If uh, you've seen my past diamond painting and chat, you would have seen that I had it duct taped to the light pad. <laughs> so I do like these clips. And if you were working on a really small one, you could put a clip on top and a clip on the side. So I do like them. I do like the light pad. Love the carrying case. So I do love it all, except for, like I said, the the stand and again some of that I am sure is my fault and again this is Mary acting and it's M-A-R-R-Y like you got married <laughs> so the shortened version the company name itself is Macting M-A-C-T-I-N-G believe that's what it was right let me double check yeah m-a-c-t-i-n-g oh i never told you the price of this whole set you get everything the light pad the cord the bag um the stand the clips everything for 27.99 so i did not think that was a bad price at all you can pay that much for the light pad alone. And this one is the adjustable brightness. So that's kind of nice. Some people don't like their iPads real bright. Um, I do. I prefer to have it as bright as I can go. So when I am working in the living room on my large diamond paintings, on my drafting table, I have an A3 bigger light pad in there, and I always have it on the brightest setting. And the thing that's nice about that iPad, iPad, I said it again, that light pad, oh my heavens, is it has like a memory so it knows how bright you wanted it last time so all you have to do is turn it on and it goes back to that same brightness so I like that you don't have to adjust it every single time so I think we will just finish out these G's and that will conclude the review. Let me see. I invariably always miss them. Those of you that diamond paint, you do that too. Just about every single color. Okay. All right. Um, you find you miss the symbols. Half the colors I always have to go back and fill in <laughs> and I used to do the filling in as I came across them because I figure oh I'm not going to find them again yeah I don't do that anymore because I'll get out that color do them couple that I missed continue to work on it and oh yeah there's some more of that color that I missed <laughs> So then you got to get that color out again. So I 
wait now till I am done with that section. Then I go back and I fill in the colors that I missed. Oh gosh, I'm having so much fun. I don't want to stop. <laughs> I haven't been able to diamond paint on my big waterfall in a while. But uh shouldn't be too long now and I'm going to be having a lot more time on my hands. If you didn't see my latest color in chat, um, I had mentioned that Heather, my daughter, is going to be induced most likely, not 100%, but most likely a week from Tuesday. Can't believe that baby's going to be here already. And then we will find out whether I have a, another grandson or a granddaughter because they opted not to find out. Not too many couples do that anymore. But they decided because they have a boy and a girl that they would have it as a surprise. So that'll be neat. They just can't decide on a boy's name. Adam is so positive that it is going to be another girl. He thoroughly enjoys his little Maddie. That is what he so was hoping they would have as he called her a little ginger girl because he has red hair so he really wanted a red-haired little girl and he got it <laughs> so yeah she's a little cutie pie so he he really wants another one <laughs> which is unusual because guys a lot of times want their boys he is an avid hunter, a big fisherman, and I know I am off camera right now, but I only have a couple G's over here to do. So rather than adjust my screen here, I'm just going to quick fill in these couple of G's. So yeah, I'm, I'm surprised he doesn't want a boy this time. And a boy to carry on the name and, you know, all of that stuff. But it's so funny, the name that they picked out for the girl is, and they both agreed on it, <laughs> is Emily. And you know the reason why they picked Emily? I had mentioned this too in a past color and chat, but in case you haven't seen that one or you are new to my channel, I have a pair of nesting um, morning doves in my garage. They are on their third litter <laughs> of birds, little babies. And I named the mom and dad, and I think, oh, there's one. And the mama bird's name is Emily. And the dad's name is Edward. And ever since I mentioned Emily to Heather, because I told her that's what I named the mama bird, she has fallen in love with that name. <laughs> is that not funny? I think it's hilarious. And uh, so, yeah, she wants to call their baby Emily if it's a girl. I think that's cute. I keep finding them. Whoops, let's get that down there. And here's one too. I scan it too fast. That's my problem. Do you guys go row by row by row 
as you are doing your diamond painting. I try to kind of do that, but then I'm in such a hurry, I my eyes kind of skim too fast and I miss them. So, yeah, I have to go back and fill them in. Okay, I think I got them all. Probably not, but, oh no, here's a couple more. Jeez Louise. Lisa, Lisa, Lisa. Okay, now do I have them all? If not, oh well, we shall get them later. It's not like uh, you can never put them on. Alrighty, so what I do to... Uh, get ah I'm on focus not zoom what I do let me get you back in the focus the focus and the zoom tabs are right next to each other on my iPad so that's why um what I do because I like these big trays with the spout I hold the spout in my hand and I just tap them down so that they get by the spout and I get my container off, oh, yeah. Get my container and then I can just dump them in. So that's how I do it. Now again, you gotta push this in. And there you go. So we only did one color, but again, this was just kind of a demo of the light pad and all the accessories that came. Let me get these back together here. So, what do you think of the set? Again, I think it's great. Um, maybe the stain not so much, but uh, again, like I've been saying, I think a lot of that's user error. <laughs> so, yes, I will link this set down below. Again, it is uh, $27.99, so for $28 bucks, you get all of this. I'm even going to try these clips on my big waterfall diamond painting in the other room. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm not going to be able to because even though I have a big A3 light pad, that diamond painting is so huge because it's a 70 by 90 um, that the canvas goes way around the light pad and I still have to adjust the light pad and my canvas um, so no I won't be able to use the clips on there um, but okay that is the review of this set um, thank you for joining me I hope you enjoyed the review if you did please hit the like button subscribe if you are new to my channel and uh yeah hoping you're having a great weekend and as always happy coloring and happy diamond painting bye guys